Hey everyone, welcome to today's project. I am super stoked that you are here. This video is gonna be a good one. If you are new to Slay Art Refinishings, my name is Garrett and I am very excited and thankful that you are here today watching this video. Hopefully at the end of the video, if you are not already subscribed, you consider subscribing. Every Sunday at 7 p.m. I upload a brand new project video. So make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video for an amazing transformation and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Man, oh man, I cannot tell you how long it has felt for this dresser to finally be completed. I purchased this dresser off of Facebook Marketplace back in the beginning of February for $20. And since then, I've had other projects that I've got distracted on. I've gotten a little unmotivated on this one because I wasn't exactly sure what the plan was. I got distracted and unmotivated because at the end of the day, I want a high quality finish. So every once in a while, the piece will take longer than expected to complete. So after I finished sanding down the entire dresser with 180 grit, I went back to the top of the dresser and went back over it with 220 and then a 400 grit. I did this because I wanted to make the top of the dresser have a very nice, smooth finish. So because this dresser was getting all new hardware, my vision was to paint the bottom four dresser drawers and to stain the top two dresser drawers. And because the new hardware didn't fit the pre-existing holes with the top two dresser drawers, I had to fill the old holes with wood filler and drill some new holes. If you have never used wood filler before, sometimes it is a little tricky to work with it and get it down in those holes. As you can see here in the video, I was struggling a little bit with it, so sometimes it takes a little extra time. After I filled the dresser drawer holes, it was time to stain and paint the remaining of the dresser. I took my general wood purpose cleaner that I got from Kroger for $8 and thoroughly cleaned the entire piece, leaving no contaminants, dirt, or dust behind. I then took my stain that I got from Home Depot that I've had from leftover projects in the past and I stained the top of the dresser and the top two dresser drawers. I applied two coats. This is coat number one and this is coat number two. What do you think about this color? While I'm letting that dry, I'm going to go over to my four dresser drawers and make sure that the wood filler is completely flat. And I'm going to begin priming up these dresser drawers so then I can paint them later today. So from the edge of this line right here to the old hole, it's about six and a half. It's about six and a half, a little over from about the middle of the hole. I measured over half an inch, half an inch. After I marked the new holes on those dresser drawers, I went back over to the dresser and threw on one coat of Beyond paint onto the dresser. That way the paint will dry and cure and then I can get back to the dresser drawers drilling those holes. So the reason why I used Beyond paint for this project I really like that Beyond Paint is a primer, paint, and sealer all mixed into one so you don't have to prime or seal, which is very nice. The only downfall to Beyond Paint is the price. Beyond Paint offers two different size containers. They offer a gallon jug for around $100 and a quart size for around $45. After I applied my first coat of Beyond Paint, I went back over to the two dresser drawers and stained them with that same stain that I used on the top of the dresser. Next, I'm going to drill all of my holes, and once I'm done with that, it's time to prime these babies up. After the first coat of priming these four dresser drawers, it took two hours for the primer to dry. Then I put a second coat on, waited another two hours, and then I got to the painting right after. In the meantime, I started to apply my second coat of Beyond Paint onto the entire dresser, not including the top, of course. In case you've never used Beyond Paint before, they want you to take a paintbrush and dab paint in all of the hard-to-reach areas like corners and small details, cracks, crevices, and whatnot. And for the bigger areas, they recommend you to use a roller. After my two coats of Beyond Paint on the dresser, the dresser drawers, and the two coats of stain up top and on the two drawers, I put all of the drawers in the dresser to see how it looked 
I wasn't too fond of how the stain turned out. It was more of an orangish color. So I decided to haul the dresser upstairs to the garage and outside to sand the top of the dresser and the two dresser drawers. This is one of the reasons why I became so distracted and unmotivated to finish this dresser. But luckily, I did complete the re-sanding of the two dresser drawers and the top of the dresser and staining them all in the same day and i painted the four dresser drawers another coat a third coat all in the same day so i was very motivated at that point to just finish it and then i let a couple days pass and finally i put in the new hardware and here is the end result let me know what you think about the final outcome if i did a good job if you have any suggestions or comments please don't hesitate to drop them down below. I'm very curious to hear what everyone thinks of the dresser. We're not quite done with the dresser just yet. This dresser is going to be a gift to one of my friends, so I'm gonna deliver the dresser in my Ford Ranger. So here I am putting it in and tucking it into the bed of my truck. Sleep tight, little dresser. So the very next day, the plans changed to deliver the dresser in my Ford Ranger. I have an old 1986 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Shout out to this project. You can follow the project on my other YouTube channel called Slay's Garage. Link will be down below if you're interested. Uh, I had the bright idea to deliver the dresser in the Jeep. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Wagoneer is hauling today. This is going to be fun. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stop and get some gas. Just filled up with some gas, looking good. All the needles looking good.
She gets up and goes, man. She's a cruiser. It's a little loud in here, but the back window's open, that's why. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and make sure you subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, I upload a new project every Sunday at 7 p.m. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back and watching another one of my videos. Thanks again. Take care. And have a great day.